Hi everyone and welcome to What I Eat in a Day on a Mediterranean Diet, the March edition. For this month we're going to concentrate on the foods from Morocco. Now you'll remember from last month's video we did the foods of Greece and each month we're going to pick a different country. So I had asked in the comments what country you wanted me to do next and several people had responded Morocco. So that's what we're going to do for today. So let's go make some breakfast. Here I have two small russet potatoes which I've peeled and I'm going to chop into small cubes and then I'm going to boil them to get them soft. I think every Mediterranean country has its version of potatoes for breakfast. <laughs> I know my dad, who is Italian, used to make us potatoes and eggs very often. So in this Moroccan dish, we're going to mix potatoes with some greens and some chickpeas. And then because in America we eat eggs for breakfast, I'm going to put an egg on top because I think it will go really nicely with it. <laughs> Here I have a pot of boiling water, which I've salted. I'm adding the potatoes. These are ultimately going to end up in a skillet, but we're just softening them up. And I'm splashing myself all over the place. Ouch. I created a spice blend here with Moroccan spices. So we have some ground cumin, some ground ginger, some coriander, smoked paprika, and some salt. Very earthy, warming spices. The potatoes are soft now. I drained them. I ran some cold water over them to cool them off a little bit. I'm adding about a half a cup of onion and a cup of chard. This is red Swiss chard. I know it looks like a lot, but that's going to wilt down a lot. And I blended those spices together. I'm going to sprinkle that on here. I'm going to toss this to combine everything together. Moroccan spices are so earthy and warm smelling. I think it's really gonna have a nice flavor. I warmed up some olive oil in this skillet and I'm tossing that whole combination in here. And we're gonna cook this until the potatoes start to brown. The greens will start to wilt kind of glossing them up with the olive oil here for a minute. And then after these are cooked, we're going to add some chickpeas. So we'll let that go for a few minutes. It's time to add the chickpeas. This is so interesting. I can't wait to try this. And once you add the chickpeas, you want to give it probably another 10 minutes. Get it coated in all those spices. It smells so good in here. I put the lid on for a little bit just to get things going, but I think I'm making a lot of progress here. Maybe five more minutes. I'm also making one over easy egg each. And the question always is, can Donna flip these eggs without breaking the yolk? I think I did it. They don't look broken yet. <laughs> I'm not cleaning this pan because I'm not. <laughs> You're gonna like this one. <laughs> For lunch, we're going to make couscous, which is one of the most popular dishes in Morocco. Now they can be made with fruit or vegetables or meat. We're gonna make it with eggplant and some walnuts and it's gonna be a very fragrant day because we use a lot of spices for breakfast and for the couscous for lunch, we're gonna use some cinnamon and some nutmeg and we'll also use a bunch of Moroccan spices for dinner as well. So let's make some couscous. We're gonna roast some eggplant with some chopped walnuts. I took about three big slices of eggplant, cut it into these tiny cubes. Some chopped walnuts, there's a little bit of olive oil and salt on here. We're gonna roast this in the oven and then we will fold it into the couscous after it's done. Couscous is tiny semolina pasta. It's so cute. Mm. 
Here I have one and a half cups of water that I brought to a boil. I'm adding about a tablespoon of olive oil, our spice mixture, and a cup of couscous. I'm just going to stir this together to combine it. I'm going to turn the heat off and put the lid on. We're going to let that sit for 15 minutes and the couscous will absorb the liquid. Okay, looks like our couscous is done. You just want to fluff it up a little, give it a good stir, combine all those spices. And we're going to mix this together. Wow, the smell of this. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> I wish there was sensorama. In this mixing bowl, we have the roasted eggplant and walnuts. And I'm going to add this very, very fragrant couscous. <laughs> and I have a little bit of fresh mint that I've chopped up. Okay, and I added a little bit of fresh mint to stir to combine this together. Now traditionally they might put some lamb in this. But we're going to eat it just as it is. For dinner we're going to have fish and roasted root vegetables and it's really easy because we're going to make it all on one sheet pan and we're going to use Moroccan spices. Let's go! In this bowl I have a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and I actually had some fresh turmeric so I grated in about a quarter teaspoon of fresh turmeric. Now I'm tossing these with about a teaspoon of salt and about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I have the oven set at 425 degrees. I have the potatoes and carrots laid out on one half of the sheet. I'm going to give them a 15 minute head start and I've reserved the other half of the sheet for the fish fillets and the red onion. Normally I would make this recipe with cod, but I happen to have mahi-mahi, so that is what we're using. I just massaged olive oil into all three of these pieces, and now I'm going to sprinkle on that spice mixture on all of them. And just in time because our first round of vegetables is ready. Okay. Okay, our potatoes and carrots have had a 15 minute head start. Now I'm going to put the fish on the tray. And I'm going to add the red onion chunks. Push them in wherever they fit. This one's a little big. Break that one in half. And now back into the oven for probably 10, maybe 15 minutes, depending on how long the fish takes to cook.
Wow, what an interesting day focusing on Morocco. I wish you could smell my house. It smells amazing with all these different fragrance spices. So let me know in the comments down below what Mediterranean country you would like me to focus on next month. We did Greece last month and obviously we did Morocco today, but there are plenty of Mediterranean countries left. There is the south of France, there's Spain, there's Portugal, there's Italy. We can do some of the islands like Sardinia or Crete or Ikaria. There is Tunisia and Egypt and Israel. I mean, there are so many countries aboard the Mediterranean that all have really interesting, unique cuisines. So pick your favorite and put it down below and we'll do that for next month. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.